In part A we looked at all the notes you need in order to be able to play cross key blues harmonica and we described each in terms of the interval it made with the tonic or keynote as the most musical way of identifying each note and appreciating what the role of each note actually is in playing blues. Now of course every player is unique and so to some extent every player is going to have their own take as to what the role of a particular note is. So all I can do is take you through each note in my own case and talk about the role as I see it, the set of tasks that uh, each note can achieve for me in my music. So we'll do this systematically again. We'll start uh, at the bottom doing the draw notes first and we'll start with the um, bottom hole draw the fifth below the lower tonic. In these diagrams the red arrows point to two of the three tonics that are available in cross key blues harmonica. There's another tonic even further up. The two shown for me serve as reference points. They tell me whereabouts on the harmonica I actually am. The blue area refers to the first hole draw and the right hand arrow is the fifth. <coughs> the left hand arrow is the flattened or lowered fifth. <coughs> and of course you can get any pitch in between. So what can this bottom fifth do for me? Well the first thing to realise is that the fifth of course is the root of chord five and so if you play it as a melody note over chord five it's going to sound just fine. So let me do a 12 bar and I'll use this bottom fifth as a melody note when I come to chord five and just see how it sounds. <laughs> So the that's uh, basically this uh, the bottom fifth, and uh, it does sound fine in place of chord five. But you might ask, well, you're vamping chords one and chord four, so why don't you vamp chord five as well? Well, the answer is that in that region of the harmonica, the notes for chord five just aren't there. You can overcome the problem if you know how to do wide chords, in which case you play the bottom fifth, you play the fifth above that, and you play the lowered seventh above that, so you get this sort of sound. And uh, let me now put that into context, so I'll play the 12 bar again, but this time I'll use that version of chord 5 instead of a single note. <laughs> bass note for that particular version of chord 5 and uh, that's uh, a way of overcoming the problem of um, not having the notes in that uh, region of the harmonica to play chord 5 in the way that you play chord 1 and chord 4. Now in that sequence you'll notice at the end there I did something different, I played a turnaround. <coughs> And that, of course, is the note we're talking about, the bottom fifth again. The turnaround introduces the next cycle, and it is chord five, and to use that uh, bottom fifth there uh, seems very appropriate. It's a, a nice low note which somehow suits in, in the introduction of the next 12 bar.
It doesn't have to be an up tempo context for though for this bottom fifth. Um, you can use it as a, a nice, rich, powerful note. This is a high harmonica, so uh, it's only uh, rich in comparison to the other notes on the harmonica, but it is comparatively rich and powerful. And so you can use it in a, in a chord five, four sequence before you go somewhere else, something like this. <laughs> so on. So that's another use for this uh, bottom fifth. Okay, so that's the bottom fifth. Let's move up to the next uh, hole now. And uh, this is the hole that produces the tonic, but you can bend down to produce the seventh as well. The blue arrows in this diagram indicate the notes that are available off the second hole draw. So there's the tonic, that's the right hand arrow, the arrow next to it is the major 7th and the arrow to the left of that is the lowered 7th. So you can get three notes off this second hole drawer. So what's the role of the tonic or keynote? Well, in some ways you can think of it as the most important note of all. After all, it is the note upon which the scale is constructed. And so you can think of it as home, if you like. It expresses the key. You may go away from home, but you'll come back. So if this is the tonic, you might um, find yourself in a situation like this. how often the uh, home note, the tonic, crops up in that little passage. A very important note and it's uh, fortunate that in fact there are two ways of producing it. We're talking about the second hole drawer at the moment but you may recall from part one, the part one video where I had a chart which showed that you can also produce it by blowing on hole three. Now I tend to alternate between the two I tend to use the blow form at the start of a phrase or in the middle of a phrase and the draw form at the end because you can get more expression, I find, with the draw form. So it's good to have uh, two ways of producing this uh, particular note. So what happens if you go away from home and don't come back? you uh, can sense that uh, you kind of get further and further into the, the wilderness and that you're not expressing the key and it sort of gives rise to a, a tension which I can demonstrate uh, like this if I went there's even more tension there because it wants to go come back to the home note so it's a bit like life. You have hurdles in life which you can overcome and then there's a period of relative peace and stability and then another hurdle. So it's the same in music. You have tension and resolution. Coming back home resolves the tension. So it's uh, a note that uh, is very important and uh, crops up probably more than any other note in a long passage of playing.